Good morning and welcome to the Petiti Pro Garden Show. Thank you all so much for being here this weekend, getting up early in the heat of the summer um, after we've all had a very active and busy week um, with the 4th of July being on Wednesday. Um, a lot of people are still celebrating this weekend as um, with the 4th being in the middle of the week. Uh, some people last weekend, some people this weekend, but uh, a lot's going on. So we're just going to uh, hopefully answer some questions that you've had, um, touch on some things that's going on in our landscapes and in our gardens and um, we hopefully will answer some of your questions so just uh, bow your heads with me or just uh, assume an attitude of prayer we're going to ask uh, the Lord's blessing over our show father we just come before you and we thank you again as always for your goodness and your grace and your mercies father oh father you have brought us through so much and you will see us through everything that we go through even our difficulties in our gardening. Father, we just thank you for all that you have done. Please, please use this program to bless someone's life and their families and help, Father, that we bring glory to your name because that's ultimately our goal. And we just thank you in your precious son's name. Amen. Well, we have all been very busy this week always with the fourth of july there's a lot going on family get-togethers friends coming over and um, we have had some real heat this week um wednesday fourth of july being one of the hottest days we've had so far i think the hottest for us the greenhouse was smoldering um the farmer that uh bales our straw for us had straw ready so we had to unload 115 bales of straw and um, it was quite a hot day doing that so I have to put a big shout out to Devin and Zaid who work with me at the greenhouse helped me unload all that straw and to um, Mr. Wagner the farmer that we buy our straw from um, because he worked right along with us unloading all that straw so if you do need straw we have a fresh cut of straw um, for you if you are doing lawn work or if you um, have an area that's wet and you're trying to uh, keep the dogs out of it for a while, uh, we can help you out there. A lot of uh, people are having issues. I'm not get, being able to get straw right now because of all the pipelines and so much, much of it being in demand when they have uh, reclamation work done and they have to uh, reseed and everything. So straw is available. So um, a lot of you have been having issues, and some of them we've talked about. Some of them we probably haven't yet. Um, Japanese beetle, for one. Oh, so many of you have been in this week with Japanese beetle issues. They are crazy. Um, Some people um, have just been seeing them, like, just ooze out of the ground. Um, And others, um, not so bad. So it it really depends on where you live. Um, And we've had a couple issues with um, folks that have put milky spore down, um, actually, last fall. And now they still have Japanese beetles, and they're not sure why. Because they were under the assumption that if they put milky spore down and got rid of the grubs, they wouldn't have Japanese beetles. We have to remember, the grubs do their own damage. And so controlling the grubs is definitely, in most cases, going to help your Japanese beetle issue. But not always if the people around you do not treat for the grubs and the grubs come up and then in your yard you have what the Japanese beetles prefer prefer to eat off of. So... um, If you are doing milky spore and you still have tons of Japanese beetles and you're wondering um, why, right now while you are still getting new Japanese beetles constantly, this isn't going to work in August when you're dealing with the Japanese beetles, but right now since they've just come out in the last couple weeks, if you dig around in your yard and you see grubs, then you'll know the Japanese beetles are probably coming from your house. But if you have put milky spore down and you dig and you find grubs, then you need to let us help you contact St. Gabriel's because they guarantee your grub control, not your Japanese beetle control, but your grub control, that you will not have grubs in your lawn for 10 years once you put down your milky spore. And they do require you to have a eight-week period before you 
test. So, but if you did it like these folks in the fall, by now you should not have any grubs. So if you're digging around in the lawn, um, in the garden, and you had put milky spore down in these areas and you have grubs, then you need to help let us help you get a hold of St. Gabriel's and get your money back or get you more milky spore to put down. If you have no grubs, but you still have a massive amount of Japanese beetles, then you're going to know that they came from neighboring properties. Um, maybe someone lives there, maybe someone doesn't, but they're coming from neighboring properties. Remember, Japanese beetles fly. So um, if you have things in your landscape um, or in your gardens that the Japanese beetles really like, if the neighbor didn't treat and they ha the Japanese beetles come out of the ground there, they're going to fly to your house to have what you like. Um, we were talking to Blueberry Gary from Louisville, which uh, we have his blueberries available at the store in pint containers. He has them at his place in Louisville in three pound bags. So that's the only way he sells. But we're talking to Gary about the Japanese beetles because Japanese beetles love blueberry plants. They absolutely love them. They also love cherry trees. So if your cherry trees um, are completely desecrated now that the Japanese beetles have gotten a hold of them like Gary's and not spraying um, with a chemical, they can take over very quickly. So that's when you want to make sure that you do have access to an organic product. Um, Spamosid will definitely work. That's the Captain Jack's product um, in the retail line. Works great on the Japanese beetles, um, on any beetle actually, um, just shuts down their digestive system and it works very, very well. Um, also the Japanese beetle killer from Bonide, um, the organic on that works very well. It only is in a ready to use though. So that's what the deterrent from that one, just a ready to use container. Um, if you have big plants, big trees, um, or a lot of area to cover, um, that's not the most ideal way. <clears throat> so the Captain Jack's product is going to work very well for you. Comes in a concentrate and a hose end works great and then you can reach those high places um, it's going to take about 48 hours for you to have complete kill um, because it does doesn't kill them on contact it has to um, get into their system to to kill them the other products that you can use for the Japanese beetle is the bond neem which does kill on contact and has the neem oil um, in it to suffocate the rest of them also stays on the plant so if they take a bite out of it um, it's going to kill them also that way the thing with any neem oil product when we're dealing with this kind of heat you can hurt your leaves if you're spraying in the morning so we want to make sure that you are spraying in the evening um, on those plants but it's going to help you um, control them and get rid of them so remember bonides japanese beetle killer Bonides Captain Jacks in ready to use, ready to spray, and the concentrate, and also the ne Bond Neem and regular straight neem oil. All will work on the Japanese beetles. Also, the beetle bags. We talked about them last week. Just remember when you're using the beetle bags, keep them far away from the products that or the plants that you want them to stay away from. You don't want them next to the plant because they will still prefer the plant over the lure that's in the beetle bag. Make sure you get that far away and hopefully we will be able to control those Japanese beetles and they won't be completely control, you know, taking over and eating all of your basil and your beans, um, your beautiful Japanese cherry trees, your weeping snow fountain cherries, um, all of your burgundy leafed plants. If you have um, lace leaf burgundy Japanese maples, um, the purple leaf sand cherries, all of those, they just absolutely love them. Um, so you really want to make sure that you keep these products available, have them to spray on your plants to protect them. Um, the Japanese beetle themselves eating doesn't really, that's not what's killing. It's not like they're laying an egg and that's going to kill your plant. What will kill the plant is that they completely defoliate and then no photosynthesis takes place. That's what could kill your plant. So you need to make sure that you um, are 
up on the Japanese beetles. If you are growing blueberries like Gary, um, they will completely destroy your crop because they will eat off the greatest, sweetest blueberries and just leave it a slime ball and then the berry is completely gone. They will also do the same with your cherries and they also will um, do it for, to your raspberries. So you really want to watch all of your um, fruit bearing um, plants because it's the most important to them um, because I mean, not that your ornamental plants aren't important. Don't get me wrong. I know we all love to have pretty landscapes. But when you're feeding your family um, and you're doing it organically and you want to make sure that you have berries to freeze or to make um, jellies or jams, um, you really want to really watch these plants. And all the products that we did mention are all safe for your organic gardening, um, but will kill those, uh, those Japanese beetles off. So hopefully... Um, that is going to help you out some. Well, just wanted to let everyone know um, our hours now have changed. Um, we are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Saturdays, 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. But we are closed on Sundays now. Last Sunday, um, July 1st, was our last Sunday to be open. And if you watch and follow our Facebook page, which we invite you to do, um, you will um, know and did see on Facebook that last Sunday, July 1st, was our 15th anniversary. And so we are um, still celebrating our 15th anniversary um, throughout um, today as well. We did it. We've been doing it all week celebrating and we are going to continue it um, through next week but then we will be starting um, our regular uh, sales will start then but right now we are if you we are running a 15th anniversary sale and so if you buy $15 worth of anything in the store or in the garden center so it can be $15 worth of Japanese beetle killers um, it can be $15 worth of landscape plants or $15 worth of perennials or $15 worth of burger and eggs you will get in return $15 worth of any annual flower in the flats or the four inch pots or any vegetable plant for free so $15 worth of vegetables and annual flowers for $15 worth of any any product in the store and like I said we will be celebrating that through the weekend and next week so please take advantage of that wonderful sale um, it isn't too late to still put some vegetables in um, you still have plenty of time for some tomatoes some peppers um, especially if you are doing things in containers because then you have the option to always pull them in if we for some reason get an early frost um, we also carry frost cloth in the fall so if your garden is still doing well and they are for some reason predicting a frost um, you can cover your garden and you won't have any any issues with that but you should take advantage of this and be able to um, have a garden and be able to get those plants for free well we are going to take a short break right now and hear from our sponsors thank you so much to habitat for humanity for sponsoring our show and also for bonide and we will be right back <music> 